Uh, hey girlies! Today is Friday, April 15th or 16th. I'm guessing 15th. I got my nails done last night. It's so cute. Very permission to dance themed. Focus, focus. Today I took off some of work and we're going to, we're going to drive all the way to Vegas. I feel like as a SoCal resident, it's very like, oh, just going to Vegas. Three and a half hour trip, three hour trip. But as I was talking to some coworkers who live nationally or people who like are just online they're just like oh my gosh i wish i can go to vegas i wish i can go to coachella for us it's not even a matter of like flights and stuff like that it's literally just like oh do we have the money to camp and to go there like it, it's so close and i forget that that's such a big perk is that we can go to all these concerts and all these events um because if you've been watching my videos you saw that i went to bts last year also in in la and i'm so excited i can't wait to see them again what i will be sad about is that Coachella is weekend. And listen, I understand this Coachella lineup, not everyone's tea. I wasn't expecting Harry Styles to headline Coachella ever, kind of, like to ever headline something like a music festival. Kind of same with Billie Eilish. Like, I don't know, it's, it's, music festivals are such a different vibe. I would love to see them. And Miss Doja, I wish she was like headlining. Head I like The Weeknd, but I wish she was, she was headlining. I just want to see Doja Cat so bad. And then just like the other artists, like Shromai, I want to see. I want to see Daniel Caesar. Like, it'll just be such a crazy time because we already have Vegas for this weekend. If I go to Coachella next weekend, which like pull off Coachella last minute, I don't know. But like, I just really want to see Harry's one hour and 20 minute set. I just, I really do. Jealousy is a disease that I have. I want to see him so bad. So I just started listening to BTS maybe a couple years ago when Dynamite, like Dynamite was a song when I was like, oh, maybe I'll start listening more. Not just because it's a song, but just the music video was so cute. I love the 70s vibes. It was so in at the time. But I just never got on the train because I was still rocking with One Direction. I really was. One Direction disbanded when I was in college. I'm not trying to pick sides. I think they're both amazing, both great for what they were. I'm glad One Direction, this is a hot take. I'm glad One Direction stopped when they did because they were all outgrowing each other. I get it. It's, it just happens. Their run was perfect. Five years, good enough time. They did world tours. They did their thing. I don't know where this rant is going, but I love Harry Styles and BTS now. So now they're doing fine. Love their growth. Love the progression. I'm kind of coffeeed up. I will be literally in the club at Vegas watching Harry's live stream. I just want to know what he's wearing. I just want to know what the set's like. Jealousy is a disease. Bye. Bye. We finally are ready. This was the fastest I've ever gotten ready before. <laughs> yeah, we made it on a party bus. <laughs> How did we get here? <laughs> oh, when I look in the mirror, I built your heart into two. I got my feet. I step right next to my feet. Okay, I gotta go up and get drinks. Cheers! Like 
BTS pop up. Look at the staff shirts. <laughs> I think they're staff. Yeah, they're staff. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to spend money. Look in the mirror. I've Okay, me realizing I have a billion and one things to do today. I don't know how we did it, guys, but we got Coachella tickets. Oh, I'm going to Coachella this weekend. Don't know. I li literally, they were, the tickets were really cheap. I'm going to tell you that. Don't know how I did it. We pulled it off about, like, we made finalizations probably Wednesday. Yesterday. It's Thursday today. So I'll just go over what happened last week, too. I was in Vegas last week for... BTS. And it was amazing. As if that wasn't enough, I started getting FOMO from Coachella. Vegas was super fun. I'm sure I put all the footage ahead of this, but it was a lot of, um, not as many lines, a lot of pop-up stuff. Allegiant Stadium was great. The heat wasn't even that bad. I thought it was going to be super hot, but I think it was around the 80s and it was a dry heat, so it wasn't that bad. Anywho, saw them, loved them, cried. It was great. But right now I'm in the process of switching gears. Like because we decided to go so last minute, there's so much to do in so little amount of time. So yesterday I just picked up the Coachella ticket. Anyways, what's in my Coachella bag? For Coachella, I'm not wearing any makeup. Like I've decided I'm not bringing makeup. This is too last minute. We don't barely have a place to stay. We're bringing the necessity. This bag I got from Amazon. It's amazing because it's it fits, it doesn't fit. This is my 24 ounce water bottle. It fits a 20 ounce perfectly. All plastic water bottles. So like I have a 20 ounce one, it's a little shorter. Fits perfectly in here. It's pretty deep. Um, so I can, I'm able to fit a lot of stuff. And if you notice, it actually can unstrap. So I can carry it like a little bag like this, but you can actually unattach these and then put it through the loops and it makes a backpack. So this is very convenient because it can just double as a backpack too if you don't want to carry it over your shoulder, your shoulders get tired, whatever. Uh, double it as a backpack. In the front little pocket, the front pocket, um, we're going to have a mask. Actually, a couple masks. Be really careful about pickpockets. Actually, any festival in general. So, um, I have in this little, there's a little pouch in the pouch. Wow. And in here is my Jungkook wallet. It's so cute. Jungkook wallet. And it has a um, cookie. It's cookie. Thank you to my friend Angelica who got it. Uh, my little Jungkook sticker. But it's going to be fun because it's number one attached to the key thing. I'm going to probably keep my car keys on here too. So don't lose it. But um, yeah, it's great because the backpack comes with a little clip. Amazing. But I'm just going to put my ID, maybe a card and cash in there. You know. And in that same pocket, I actually have a bunch of hair ties and a bunch of bobby pins. Not only for hair, but like when I want to tie it, like let's say I have a skirt on or like a shirt, I want to tie it up. These for some reason come in clutch. Like I have quite a couple, like a few things in here. So I don't know why it just always comes in clutch. A bobby pin is always, always comes in clutch. I don't know how, I don't know why there's always some, a need for them. 
But anyways, that is in the little pouch pocket. And I again, I love that there's a keychain ring so I don't get pickpocketed because it's very easy to reach into this front pocket if I was like on my back or something. Moving on, has one big compartment here. Um, as you can see, what's sticking out is my fan and I, self-explanatory. I really, I actually don't mind it like flailing out like that. Like let her be, let it live. If I lose it, whatever. This one is not gonna be my backpack, but sunglasses, maybe I'll put it in the front pouch. Next, um, these from Daiso. So these are alcohol disinfecting wipes, but it's 75% alcohol and it says it's safe for your skin. What I like about these is they're alcohol wipes. Baby wipes would have worked the same too, but alcohol wipes are really nice because when we're like maybe in the festival or we're touching things or like we have to sit somewhere, we have to touch a handle, I don't know. Like it'll just be nice to be able to wipe our hands and to wipe down anything that we have around us. Like if we, like surfaces. So that's why I really like these over baby wipes because there's alcohol in it. And they come in a cute little package. People keep thinking this is food. Like I would bring this in and they're like, you can't bring food in here. I'm like, these are baby wipes or alcohol wipes. And I'm like, okay. Next, charger, self-explanatory. This is kind of fun. Okay, so I tied this to the outside and since everything's black, so it's hard to see, but I can actually stick it in here. What is this, you may ask? It is a Uniqlo jacket. So this is my windbreaker. I've had it for so long. It's an oversized windbreaker and it is so nice for like cold times. I don't know if it'll get cold, but just in case I need like a windbreaker, even a place to sit, like when worse comes to worse. This is great, it's super compact as you can tell, like it fits in this, but you could squish it a little more, but it fits perfectly on the side and it literally takes up, I can't really tell, takes up like no space. That's that, that on that. And then my last thing in here is this little pouch. I'm a fan of pouches that go in pouches. It's like pretty thick, so, uh, but it doesn't take up much room because I like when this has like an outer shell just in case because I have important stuff in here. Self-explanatory. Sunscreen. Vaseline. I like multi-use things. So this Vaseline is for your lips. It's, but honestly, it's basically Vaseline. I don't know if it has a different um, consistency from Vaseline. It seems the same to me. I don't know if I'll be able to bring this into the ground. I still have to read all the rules. Um, Advil, you girls always hurting. Um, Neosporin. And last but not least, some tissue. If I was bringing makeup, I would have brought my Fenty Beauty Compact, but it does have a little bit of extra room to fit stuff. Like I still, and not, maybe I'll put gum in here or something. I hate overloading backpacks and then like fiddling with it in the middle of a set and being like, I need this and I can't get it out. Okay, so that is my little Coachella backpack. See, there's, if you can notice, a lot of room. Um, what's nice about this backpack too for events is that if you have your phone, you can put it, there's a little pouch here that zippers. Again, I do not want to get my phone stolen. So this little pouch is pretty deep. It zippers up, fits your phone perfectly. That is that on that. And I also have a clip here because um, again, I think you can never have enough options to tie up your hair. Like, it gets so hot, so I can't wait. Coachella! Well, editing from bed, uh, don't mind the retainer, but I just want to say I didn't record anything in good quality that weekend. Like, it was all, like, for my Insta stories, and even then, it was just, I was living in the moment. It was so fun. It was so fun. But I'll put what I had and some of my favorite sets, so. Enjoy. <laughs>
tu papà, non ti muore tu papà, son mi dovrò riparlare, il senso che non va pa. Listen, that's the state of my room because of the past couple weeks. As you can tell, my voice is gone. So I'm gonna try to make this whole section quick to wrap up. Currently catching up on my laundry um, because that has been neglected. During quarantine, we were so used to doing nothing. So when I did stuff for the first time, like my body is having severe reactions. If I go out one day or two days or even three days, I will be like bedridden for a week. That is so crazy considering when I was in college, everything before COVID and surviving on three to five, it was miserable, but surviving on like three to five hours of sleep, doing things and driving places everywhere, being in like seven different cities within a day. Mind you, I live in SoCal, so it's not super crazy, but like that used to be life. I've been deciding to YOLO yolo everything uh, lately and it's because i actually have the time to right now um i have no kids not married living life i kind of started all of last year when concerts started to come back so i started off by going to uh the pretty basic live show it was at uh an improv center really close to me so i was like F it, i'm just gonna go alone legit did a full meet and greet by myself I met some cool people. Other than that, I've got a couple more tattoos. My voice is really shot. This is actually doing a lot better. Before, I couldn't even get a word out, so I'm doing better. I've never been to a music festival. That's a lie. I've been to a couple music festivals. <laughs> some raves. I will always say they're pretty much all worth it. If you like music, you are going to enjoy this music festival because I got to see some of my favorite artists, Harry Styles, Pink Sweats, Doja Cat. There's a whole list. I also got to listen to a lot of new artists um, that I ended up really liking and so it was so cool. Everyone puts their whole, whole, whole heart into these performances. Like, there were, they look like they were having so much fun up there. So I think it's so worth it because you get to see an A1 set and then on top of that, with only like 20 to 30 minutes of standing, you can get really good seats. Like you can really see them. Music festivals are worth it. That's it. My t-shirt from BTS in Las Vegas. This is my pleasing headscarf for Harry Styles. And look how cute the artist from Marisol. I love her art. So cute. I'm glad Harry was able to find a great artist for his side hustle of a beauty brand. Um, so I really like that. I think I should stop talking. Hopefully I've inserted all the clips. Um, I did not, did not film too much at Coachella. Even Vegas, I didn't really film much. So hopefully they're sprinkled throughout this vlog and this vlog made sense. This vlog maybe just titled concerts. I don't know. And when I was younger, I could not afford them. Even when I was 18, 19, 20, I could not afford them. Luckily with the job I have now, I'm fortunate enough to be able to go but if you can't go it's fine the coachella live stream better than my actual eyesight so you're good luckily there's the internet so if you can't go to them great if you can great pray for my boys <laughs> bye